Hello again, it's Lockmove, and here we have a Yale uh, Y15040, a gift from a friend, but it came with no combination, and as you can see from the scratches, it had a bit of a life. Now, normally with this kind of lock, I'd just do a shackle pull, I'd feel for a, a true gate or a false gate, do the wiggle test, you usually get a bit more um, wiggle when you feel you're in a true gate as opposed to a false gate, and, and, and we'd get the lock open, but this, the wheels are stiff and gritty. Um, I, I pull the shackle and I, I can't feel the gates in here. I, I don't know why. If I had to guess, it could just be age and use. It's clearly been used, but it doesn't look that worn. Or it could have been a combination of that and the fact that it might have been used by a previous lock sporter to practice their decoding. And what you can end up doing is wearing the inside of the wheels, they usually cast. Um, by pulling the shackle teeth against them. So it could be that, it could, could even be just bad manufacturing, who knows, but there was a solution. I remembered back to Potty314, Potty Pies uh, videos, a, a German lock picker and YouTuber who I watched um, all the time years ago. I, I loved his content. He doesn't make videos that much anymore, but really do go check out his stuff. It's phenomenal. Um, great person, great teacher. And what he used to do is get a length of chain, which I've got one here, um, somewhere come here got a bit of chain poking out and oh you can probably hear the other end there it is attached to my chair and padlock that to it and that should provide give myself a little bit more space um so which i can just pull against which reduces hand fatigue i'm not pulling against the 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 padlock but i'm just pulling against the chain and that gives me for whatever reason a lot more um uh, room now i haven't decoded it but i can feel the gates at the very least. So I'm just going to try and get this into um, any, all these numbers just should be at a position where they naturally stop. Uh, and that should align with that row numbers here. And that's just where I start from. It doesn't matter what they are. And what we do is then feel for a sort of binding wheel. So where the teeth on the shackle are pulling against the inner wheels, these things. So, wow, that's very stiff, okay? That's loose, that's loose, that's... It's, it's, it's somewhere between stiff and loose. So I'm gonna try this wheel first, and we're just gonna go along. Oh, four, bit tight. And, hold on, that was there, wasn't it? Uh, that's still loose, that's still loose. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that that one is the case. So I'm gonna try again. Uh, it could just be a false gate, but you definitely slot it in. Oh, it could be two, mm, maybe. That's, these ones are still loose, so maybe not two either. Okay, okay, let's try again. Oh, eight, could be eight. No, no, it, Okay, keep going. Press the shackle in a bit. Oh, oh, ah, I, I felt the shackle move a little bit. Not always a sign, could just be a deep false gate, but if something else is binding, that, that would signify that maybe, oh yeah. So that's still quite loose. This one is um, quite loose, but this one, I can barely, barely move it. I'm going to release the tension a little bit so I can shift it on a tiny bit, okay. So give it a go. Could be two? No. Oh, that was quite good. I got a bit of wriggle on that one and this one, okay. Sorry, hand fatigue now, let's have a go, right, so. That feels good, that feels sort of good. Bit, yeah, but okay. Ah, oh, okay. Now I've wiggled those, and I think they're in the right position. This wheel's become remarkably stiff. So uh, that one's still really easy, but this one is stiff. So let, let me get that into anything and try this one then, okay. Oh, that felt quite good. but that's all really loose, okay. Um, okay, so let's try again. Oh, that felt good too. Uh, can you hear that click? Did you hear that click? I felt that click. Um, 
but that's still quite loose. Okay, try again. Oh, that was a lot louder, and that's really locked in now. All right. So uh, let's try this wheel now. Oh, okay. I felt the shackle move, so I reckon that that could be a false key. Let's have a wiggle test. Room, room, room. A bit tighter. All right, I'm going to try one more position. Make sure everything's in something. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that did take a while, but that is uh, five, two, one, nine. Doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, Fifty-two, nineteen could be a birthday. Couldn't it? Who knows? Hard to tell with these things. Oh wow, there's barely any shackle hole there at all. That's is that normal? But that's like there's nothing. Does that mean it'd be easy to force? Possibly. I'm not going to try and do a destructive test, but that's. Uh, do you not think that's like really shallow? Uh, but yeah, and you can just about see um, that's very similar to what one of the shackle teeth would look like on the inside of the wheels. A bit shorter, but um, and that's actually for changing the combination. But uh, yeah, there we go. So I've got the combination now. That's a uh, five two one nine. Um, credit to Potty. Pi or Potty314 for the, the tip here. Um, and my poor fingers, I don't know whether you can see the, uh, the the marks on them, but that was really, really hard going to turn those wheels. That was um, that was horrible. I wouldn't like to decode this one again. Anyway, look, if you like that video, please leave a like. If you feel sorry for my uh, fingers, then uh, please leave a comment below. If you like content like this, want to see more like, then please do drop me a subscription. And of course, I will see you next time.